Tangaza Pesa. Tangaza is one of the six mobile money transfer services in the country. Okay. Uh, as you are aware, there are only about six uh, licensed mobile money services. Okay. The four mobile networks and two others. Currently, we are the second largest okay. by virtue of the volume of money transferred. Who is Oscar Ikino? I'm an architect okay. and also an urban planner. Okay. I also, I'm, also in the, I'm also in the IT industry and that's how we are able to develop solutions like Tagaza okay. and also that's how we are able to come up with solutions that can create jobs in the building industry. What led to the transition from architecture to IT? I used to work in Dubai okay. and we were building the economy there big time. Okay. That's the time when I left college and went there. And that's the time the economy there was booming. So we are doing a lot of buildings. Uh, I was working for a certain company called Artec. Okay. And uh, after some time, I decided to open my own uh, architectural office. Okay. Then all of a sudden, I realized I, I could actually do the same thing I'm doing in, uh, in Kenya. After all, the advantages were there for Kenya as opposed to Dubai. In Dubai, there is no, the temperatures are high. There is no water, there is no labor. Even in Dubai, there is no oil, so you couldn't say that the economy is growing because they have oil. So I realized it's actually possible to do it in Kenya. So I closed the office there, decided to come here and, and create a, a huge building industry which would create jobs and create wealth for millions of Kenyans. And that's how we ended up starting Tangazo. What was the motivation for Tangaza Pesa? The motivation was that, the fact that I was in Dubai, the economy is doing so well, we are renting uh, flats and uh, building uh, a lot of uh, a huge uh, industrial base, urban base, yet those people don't have the advantages we have. When I looked at Kenya, we have a lot of water, we have a huge country, we have labor, in Kenya, labor is just sitting idle. And when we were there, we were selling buildings in a desert, 47 degrees, 50 degrees Fahrenheit, and they are being bought on the drawing board. When I imagine that you can do that in Kenya, somewhere like coast, or even in Kenya, you can sleep outside any day, and we can in, in good health. So I decided, I mean, everything was there that is possible in Kenya. How did you raise the capital? Basically, um, what I did, I got some partners so that we can be able to start the business. And they raised the initial capital and we've been growing and we are still looking for capital because we are growing bigger and bigger. What challenges do you face? Of course, for us, uh, the initial thing was not necessary to do to come and uh, build a financial, building a financial infrastructure. When I was in Dubai, I thought, ah, when I come here, it's just going to be start a city and you're good to go. But when we came, we found that there were quite a number of challenges. There were no industries that can support a huge construction industry. There was no electricity. When I came, that at the time, there was electricity rationing. You know that there was no financial sector that can support a big industry in terms of liquidity. If you check in, in other countries, industries are, have a, you know, has, have a turnover larger than the Kenyan government. So you're talking about a very thin economy that can drive such a huge industry. So the, the challenges were there. Yet we have the labor force, we have the education. And I realized we couldn't really just start. Of course, also communication industry was not there. But uh, when you look at it, uh, there, there were people who were working on that. We had the vision 2030, the time coming up. So it was addressing the issue of road networks, the communication industry, and, and things like that, and also helping people to start investors. The challenge we, we realized is that the financial sector was actually not being designed to create the, the kind of liquidity that can create uh, support industries and, and create jobs. So we decided to, to follow that direction. That's how we started Tangaza. What set Tangaza apart from others? 
first is that we have a vision for our people. That whatever we are doing, finally we are going to realize that we are actually going to create jobs for them. Yeah. And create wealth for them. Next, of course, as a product in the market, we are competing with others. We are the, the one that works across the only mobile money service that works across all mobile networks. One that is 100% uh, secure. We experience zero fraud. Just basically because we use our fingerprint identification, we also take photographs when customers are being registered and verify the national IDs with the government database. So that virtually eliminates fake people uh, entering into our, into our system. How do you deal with competitors? Every successful product will always have competition. And if you find competition, you know that your, your product is good and actually it sells in the market. If there is no competition, it means your product can sell in the market and nobody is interested in that uh, industry. So you get into an industry and you find people want to come, it means there is uh, the product actually sells. So competition, you deal with it, that it comes and it comes in many ways. It comes into... They, they can com uh, competitors can compete with you in many ways, like in our area. We have the mobile networks, yeah. they can ex exercise monopolistic behavior instead of trying to compete you in terms of service delivery, sure. they can try to compete with you in terms of uh, you know, either abusing their dominance and things like that, but we are able to address that using the regulators and things like that. And also the issue to do with pricing, we are able actually to price with our products with the competition. So it now becomes an issue of service delivery. You offer end-to-end -end solutions. Could you elaborate? If we look at uh, what we are trying to do, we want to start by uh, ensuring that uh, industries are able to access markets. So we give them the channels and the capacity to access markets. And with that, we automate their services. A good example is the ASACO, which is giving financial services to the market. They are able to automate that ASACO from customer registration, so they open uh, electronic files, and then they are, with that they are now able to offer services without using any paper. So customers register electronically, they apply loans electronically, customers guarantee each other electronically, loans are dispersed electronically. And the accounting system we also give them, which actually monitors and records everything electronically. So they get their ledgers for uh, updated for every single transaction. So we can automate every single company to paperless. A simple company, a single circle with 5,000 members, will have an IT as powerful as what big operators like Kenya Airways, uh, Emirates Airlines are running, or even banks. That's what we do. We walk in, and that can be done within 30 days. We walk into our office, that can be done within 30 days. It's actually online, ready to go. You register with us, you just buy it, and within five minutes, you have it. So actually, the 30 days is to, is to do with training and familiarization with the products. Could you elaborate on your ATM service? Basically, what happens in mobile money, we have agents countrywide, okay. and because agents are not commercial banks, they have limitations in terms of the amount of money they can keep uh, in their deals. And we realize that whenever our customers need to access money, it could be critical for your business or for whatever service, they could even be wanting to access medical services, and the agent is telling them that there is no flow. So we came up with a product that will be able to address that, and that's a Tangaza ATM card, which you are able to actually get instantly at an, at an agent. You activate it, we are able to give you a card within five minutes at the agent. You use your fingerprints to connect to, his, uh, to the card, so the agent can sell that card to you, and you immediately walk into an ATM and withdraw money. It's the most secure card in the world. We've talked to Visa, we've talked to MasterCard. It's the first time anybody has been able to to change PIN from a mobile phone for an ATM card, whether debit or credit, and then they are able to activate that card from their mobile phone and then access the ATM within within minutes. 
So it's, a, it's quite an advanced uh, solution. It's a fraud-free card. Whenever you go to an ATM, you have to, the card is always locked. So you have to open the card every time you stand in front of an ATM. The card also enables you to shop at uh, supermarkets. You can now shop with it at Tuchumi, Nakuma, Taskis. And anywhere there is a point of sale, you can fuel with it wherever there is a point of sale. And all you have to do is take your mobile phone, open the card, swipe the card at the supermarket or the petrol station, and immediately you swipe it, it closes. It closes up. So it's a pretty secure uh, solution that we have, and it enables people to access their, their, their finances at any time. 24 hours. I think you know it ends at 24 hours, so it gives access and also a higher liquidity than what the agent would give at any time. Advice to aspiring entrepreneurs. I think the main thing uh, when you are starting up is to have a vision, what you want to deliver uh, to the world, and all you need to do is actually create it and visualize it the way the consumers will have it and see that it can benefit the people. Once you can visualize it, actually get a good picture of it and with that you are able to now work towards that. Once, if you cannot visualize it, then you can't work towards it. It's like a destination. If you want to go to Mombasa, it's very easy, you can see, you can see where you want to go. But if, you, if I told you just go anywhere, just go, you wouldn't find, you wouldn't know where to go and that's where you find uh, uh, business mentors telling you create a good business plan. It gives you a good visualization of what you want to do. Visualize it, see yourself making money without with that opportunity, and that gives you the drive and gives you a very clear direction as how to work. It's not an issue of money, it's not an issue of anything, it's an issue of just having that that visualization and see it work. <laughs>